a little bit of late edition of Lunch with a Shark. Welcome to another week, another week of, um, of home confinement. Uh, it's get, we're getting used to this. I think it's fun. Um, it's very productive, believe it or not. Anybody or everybody who's doing home office, um, it's, it's actually productive. And we, at least I'm um, talking about uh, our experience at Invictus Advisors, uh, most of our team has been delivering and uh, getting shit things done and uh, organized. Interesting. Uh, I'm seriously thinking of shifting Invictus Advisors office into really home office, <laughs> but I don't think so. Today we're gonna talk about a very interesting topic. Actually, Captain Crunch just left. He, he's been wanting to be on, on Facebook Live lately. We're gonna talk about a very complex and interesting topic. I, I know that we're an accounting firm. I know that we handle accounting, books, taxes, tax strategies, um, structures and things like that, but that also entitles ethics. What are ethics? And I have a very simple definition of ethics in business. It can be summed up as the value of honesty, integrity, and fairness. And you're going to say, why the hell are you talking about ethics or touching that topic? This morning, we woke up to one of the multiple news outlets, and they were actually talking, and this was, I think, LinkedIn through MSNBC, and they were actually talking about a company called Chick Chack. Maybe you know it. They have... Mm. Decent burgers. They're not the greatest, they're decent. Uh, we actually had the opportunity to dine at one of the uh, Donnie Meyers uh, restaurant in New York last year. We were there for a conference and uh, we had the opportunity to go to one of his restaurants. That one, it's really good. So maybe they can work a little bit on Chick Chuck. Nevertheless, nevertheless, my hat's off to them because they actually returned $10 million that they were given through the Payroll Protection Program SBA loan. They say that other small businesses need it more than they do. Last week, we hop into different uh, webinars, we did a couple of uh, news conferences, and I heard several people say, oh, my business is doing great, my business has incremented uh, revenue over 40%, uh, 50%, uh, I do more business during uh, uh, the crisis time, and also I got my payroll protection loan funded, and I'm going to use it. Where are all those business owners? Hey, Captain Crunch, relax. Where are all those business owners that are increasing their profits? Not their profits, but probably much their revenue in this time. Are you guys going to return those monies? Are you being honest? Are you having integrity? It's not a matter of fairness, let me tell you that. It's a matter of honesty and integrity. And to all those businesses, I say, you guys signed that application under penalty of perjury, certifying that the COVID-19 uh, issue has affected your business. And by increasing your revenue 30, 40, 50%, that does not mean that your business is being affected by COVID-19. There's multiple ways of ethics affects in the company. Accounting, social media, 
harassment and discrimination, health and safety, technology and privacy. We all have those areas in our businesses. I can tell you one thing. In my 25 years or so of doing accounting and being a CFO, for the very first time, three or four months ago, I was asked to misrepresent and misstate a balance sheet by not recognizing loans. I want to tell you that that client is no longer our client. That's a very, very, very bad request to your CFO. Have you ever done anything that has affected your business? Have you ever said anything that has offended or it's not doesn't go representing your business or yourself on social media? Have you seen the other way as some employees or, or clients have been suffering harassment or discrimination? Do you even on your business have do not have the proper health and safety procedures or you just go as to the basics? Do you keep your servers and computers protected even though that uh, you have very valuable information from your clients? That's not ethical. You actually need to think about yourself if you were on your client's shoes, of your empl employees. <laughs> it's a very, very complex topic. And I'm gonna finalize this lunch with a shark with the following quote. Wrong is wrong even if everybody is doing it. Right is right even if no one is doing it. Just think about that. See you tomorrow. Uh, maybe we'll do it early. Maybe we do dinner with a shark. We don't know, we're really busy. But we'll see you tomorrow.